okay back again you guys so I went ahead and got that layer on uh, baked on now you can actually see the mottling a little bit better um, the one layer of blush on the cheeks the nose and the lips uh, and then the rest of the modeling. So, you can actually see that fairly decently. Uh, same for the belly plate. And the little belly buttons blush one time. So now that that's baked on, what we're going to do now is the same thing we did in the last video with the red modeling. We're going to take and use the purple this time. So instead of using red, it's the same procedure, just using purple. Um, same texture for the paint, uh, same pretty much everything. So, I can see the paint there, and it settles very fast. So just always make sure you're mixing your paint up. And I got the same sort of sponge, except purple. Let's see all the little divots. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the top of the sponge or whatever, get all the paint moved around in there, and then just pounce it off. I'm going to go on the back of the head, just like we did for the red. And you do want to go over the cheeks again, or at least I do, if you don't like the little rosy uh, sort of mottled look on the baby cheeks. Um, that's totally up to you. That's the artist's call. Uh, but me personally, I like the look. So that's how I do that. So then you can see the purple really kind of just gives that baby that beautiful skin and newborn texture. Um, go ahead and get that brush wet again. And okay, so that's why you want to keep vinyl away from the paint bowl as you're mixing because you don't want that to happen. Because if you bake that on there, you're screwed at that point. There's nothing else you can do. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of the head. I usually only do about one layer of the purple because it's pretty uh, prominent. Uh, you don't want to get the lips, but you do want to get everything else. So. And you can see it looks a little funny at the moment, but it won't once it's dry. So I'm going to let that dry up. You don't want to go over the ears with it either, by the way. So I still have enough paint on this to go ahead and do the belly plate. So. And then a couple spots you might see it's a little too thick, that's when you just go ahead and pounce it off. Whoa. And it's a good thing it dries fast. So then you can see that skin texture, that mottled look, that's what you're really going for. Um, and then as far as, you know, blushing the little belly button and stuff, that's you just continue to use the same color you used for the pink mottling layer. Uh, that's what color you'll use for the nails. The blushing for the whole limb or the whole body, everything like that. So, I'm just gonna take my small brush, go around, paint it, making sure to get the whole belly button and let that sit for just a minute. Uh, go ahead and paint the lips one more layer. So this actually went on a little too dark, so this is an easy fix actually. All you gotta do is just take, even if it's dry, so you can see it's a little bit dark, you're just gonna take your sponge and kind of just blend it in with the skin. Or you can even take some red and go over that, like that. So. Not a huge deal. 
or if you really just don't like it, and I do, but I'm gonna just show you guys anyways for future reference, you just take some paint thinner and put a little bit on the sponge and you'll see how, how fast that swells. Like, it swells up fairly quick. Trying to get it where y'all can see it. See? Okay. Put a little bit of that off and just take it and wipe it off. So then you'll just be back down to your um, original red pink layer. And it's not going to take the paint off of what you've already baked on either, so don't freak out about that. And then you just take a dry end of the sponge and just sort of go over it. Okay, so there's that. And so now you're just going to go back over it with your little purple Motlin sponge. Do whatever. Avoiding the lips. Okay. And then you just have that. So. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and just blend in this belly button here. Okay. My belly button's blended. And it actually looks really good, but I'm probably going to blush it one more time just for uh, realistic measures. So I'm going to grab my red. Again, mixing it as I go. Not that there's much left in here, but I just want to keep it mixed up. Check my time here. Okay. And then I'm going to go over the lips one more time. So, okay, I'm trying to get you guys where you can see it. Okay. It's a little difficult for me, but I can manage. And like I said, once you paint the first couple of layers, you really start to see uh, where the lip line lies. You just gotta paint it. Let's go under there. You want all rounded edges, so. And me personally, I like dark baby lips, but not everybody does. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, so that's why I always just like to ask my customers. But this baby I'm painting the same way I did the last custom twin A. Because uh, it'll be a twin to the twin A. Sorry, you guys. Just hit my tripod. Anywho. So. There's that little lip layer. And you want to kind of... Get inside the mouth, get that tongue and the gums, and really on all the whole inside if you can. Don't worry about patting out the inside of the mouth too much. Uh, it's not going to matter. Just make sure you pounce out those creases, though. You gotta have those creases pounced out. So then there's layer number two on the lips. Um, and then one more layer purple on the eyelids again achieving that newborn look this time um, around I'm doing a second layer also on the bottom but the next time about the third or fourth layer in I will not do the bottom eyelid you don't want that too too much so you just pounce that out blend it all in just like you would the blushing so, in about the third or fourth layer, you'll actually start to see it. So, okay. So now, I'm also going to do blushing in this video. Uh, I mean, I know you guys saw a little bit of in the last video, but not much. Not like I want you guys to see it. So... I'm gonna set this tripod right here in front of me. I'm trying to continue to keep you guys straight as possible. Okay. So, mix up my red. Don't let it settle down off as much as I 
you know, can in the bowl, but you don't want to dab it off so it's dry. And then, as simple as this. Try and get you guys right here. Kind of like I'm not, I don't have a camera in front of me. So I can show you guys how I usually do it without getting any weird angles. Okay. So, I just go ahead with my little brush and I do that and this isn't usually the sponge I use for my blushing blending whatever uh, I actually have a special sponge I made for that and all it is is a sponge with the top torn off so it blends better into like a skin tone complexion with no lines um, this is also what I use for um, like skin layers like flesh tones and whatnot so you can see this cheek is blush one more time than this one and the nose you can sort of see on the inside of the mouth sort of there we go and of course you'll blush the inside of the mouth when you do the creases that's usually what I do anyway so I'll get some more red paint ahead and do the other cheek and I can actually go ahead and get over the nose and then just pounce that out and that's how I achieve the perfect little baby nose and lips and cheeks I actually did a baby one time that was a little too blush and I did not like it. Um, a lot of people do the red nose, or not the red nose, but the yellow nose on a baby. I don't like this look, that's why I don't use it. Um, so that's, yeah. That's that. So I'm going to do one more layer on the lips before I put it in the oven. This flashlight's actually kind of making it difficult for me to see, believe it or not. So, top lip has three, the bottom lip has two layers. There we go. Maybe. Okay. And then just paint that across. And get that. All that good stuff. Making sure to get the gums and the tongue and the inside of the mouth. Because you don't want to miss that. So now I'm just going to take this and go like that, pounce off that excess, under the lips, in the gums, all that. You can even take a small brush like this and do so. So then there is the lips. And you can now see the blue undertones in the eyes, in the corners of the eyes across the bridge of the nose, and also the corner of the mouth. You can see those really well, and even right here in the nose area so I'm going to actually blush this little belly button one more time also before I put it in the oven trying to avoid splattering paint everywhere because then that can become a problem especially if you don't see it and then just pounce off So, this is actually almost done. The only thing I need to do on this is crease it. Um, and then it'll be done because other than the belly button, nothing else needs blushed. So, creases on this will be next. Uh, I'll actually set this aside for a good 
while. But anyway, guys, next video will be shortly. Like and subscribe to my channel. Go like my Facebook page, Ariana's Little Blessings Nursery. Bye, guys.